Steve Devries slashed heads together and Archul's contract in half for an exclusive cooperation with Wales. Prince Harry reportedly fell out with childhood friend Tom Minskip after he advised the Duke of Sussex to take things slow with Meghan Markle, and he was excluded from part of their wedding. Tom and Skip revealed that Steve Devries, MBA, CEO of Heads Together Health, has unilaterally terminated his organization's contract with Archul and will sign an exclusive royal contract with Prince William and Princess Kate's The Royal Foundation following the coronation ceremony. He recognizes the future king and queen and then discovers inconsistencies in Archul's payment of salaries to staff, and Meghan Markle and Harry's covert money laundering scheme was revealed by the French press so this may be Steve's new strategy. Steve is the CEO of Heads Together Health and brings more than 20 years of management consulting, technology deployment and healthcare services experience to lead the organization. Most recently he was vice president of business development for the North America contract sales and medical solutions business at ICVIA, which is the largest global healthcare information, analytics and contract research organization. Harry's small circle are said to be unwilling to challenge the royal when he makes bad decisions, which could be down to the cautionary tale of Tom and Skip. Skippy, to use his affectionate nickname, was a classmate with Harry at Eton and his father Owen and Skip, his friends with King Charles. However, wingman Tom found himself being frozen out by Harry after he made an insulting comment about his relationship with Meghan. One of Harry's oldest pals. Skippy has been alongside the prince during a number of his most infamous scandals. He was there when Harry was seen inhaling hippie crack at a party in 2010 and when the Duke was photographed naked during a game of strip billiards in Las Vegas in 2012. Before Harry and Meghan's courtship was publicly acknowledged, the couple attended Tom's wedding to Hun Lara Hughes Young in 2017. But the childhood mates allegedly clashed when Skippy questioned Meghan's eligibility as a future queen. According to the 2020 book Finding Freedom, Tom was concerned about how rapidly the relationship was progressing and advised Harry to live with Meghan before doing anything more serious. Authors Omid Scobie and Carol Durand wrote that although Tom's advice came from a good place, Harry didn't totally see it that way. According to a close friend of the Sussexes, it really hurt him that someone he was so close to would not trust his judgment. Skippy and his wife Lara were allegedly punished for their spat by being barred from attending Harry and Meghan's wedding. They attended the ceremony at Windsor Castle in 2018, but were not invited to the nighttime wedding celebration at Frogmore House. According to a source, Meghan did not want Skippy or his wife Lara to attend the wedding. The insider said, all the poor guy did, during a heart-to-heart -heart with the prince, was to venture that Harry might be infatuated, more in lust than love, and maybe he might think about cooling things down before rushing into a proposal. However, the old mates reportedly reconciled a year later after the tragic death of Tom's mother-in-law, Emma St. Helens. To commemorate her mum, Tom's wife Lara raised money for Heads Together, which was a charity partner of Harry. Pals said the prince donated a significant sum, with a source telling the son, Skippy and Harry are back as tight friends. When Harry heard about Lara's mother's horrible passing, it really hit a nerve. Lara has raised money to support research into mental health and Harry decided to let bygones be bygones. After burying the hatchet, Tom has seemingly returned to the fold and was one of the first to congratulate Harry when Prince Archie was born. Harry allegedly phoned his best friend immediately after the birth to share the good news and invited him to come and see the baby right away. A source close to the couple told the son, they said, one of the first of his old chums with whom Harry wanted to share the great news was Skippy, who is just happy to be back in the fold. Tom is genuinely happy that he was proved wrong about Meghan, because he, like everyone else, can see that they are absolutely devoted to each other. But he doesn't feel guilty about asking Harry if he was sure he was going the right thing in the first place, he felt he was only doing what a good friend should do, in talking it through with Harry.
Steve Devries slashed heads together and Archul's contract in half for an exclusive cooperation with Wales. Prince Harry reportedly fell out with childhood friend Tom Minskip after he advised the Duke of Sussex to take things slow with Meghan Markle, and he was excluded from part of their wedding. Tom and Skip revealed that Steve Devries, MBA, CEO of Heads Together Health, has unilaterally terminated his organization's contract with Archul and will sign an exclusive royal contract with Prince William.